Hello everyone, welcome. I'm Asmina. Thanks for joining. Today's restorative yin style wall yin yoga will help us to calm our minds, release stress, cool off the excess heat in our bodies, so cool off from the hot pitta energy of the summer. And it will also help to release tightness in our hips, hamstrings, and back, and we'll get into the shoulders and neck as well a little bit. And the other bonus is that it can help you sleep better, so it can help with insomnia as well. So it's a, it can be a challenge to become still during the summertime, but give yourself this challenge to, to slow down and try this beginner all levels practice. Um, it is it's a, quite a powerful practice, so I hope you will try it. And as always, you, if you do like this practice, please support this channel by subscribing, liking with a thumbs up, and sharing with your family and friends. You will need a wall and keep a folded blanket or a cushion nearby in case you need to use it as a prop. Okay? So let's get started right away. Um, we're going to start right at the wall again, um, right away instead of doing our opening meditation sitting. So I'll just bring my timer here so that it's close by. You'll bring your hips, your, your bottom and your hips close to the edge of the wall. So the, the hardest part can be getting up the wall, but just take, give yourself time. And then bring your elbows down. And just keep trying to keep that hip and leg close to the wall. Lie down on your back and then just swivel the hips around and slowly swing the legs up. So do the best you can to be close to the wall, um, to the baseboard. But if it doesn't work, just take your folded blanket and put it underneath your, if you have tight lower back and have, if you have tight hamstrings, you can keep your knees bent. Tight lower back, put a little folded blanket underneath your sacrum, your bony part of your back. Then we're going to, so you can pause the video and take your time to get up to the wall first, okay? Don't give up, you can do it. It'll be worth it, I promise. And then you're going to start to bring your feet down. Keep the soles of your feet together. And come down as low as you can go. So we're coming into butterfly. So really, just do what you can. Go to the level where your hips can take you. In the beginning, you may want to place your hands on your thighs to coax your legs apart but listen to your body. So here we, you can rest your hands on the heart or one hand on the heart, one on the belly or arms by your side. And we're going to just stay here for a little bit. So close your eyes and relax. Drop your weight, soften into your face. And begin to notice the state of your mind right now. How are you feeling emotionally? And sometimes when it's really hot outside, if we're doing and we're doing practices like running, jogging, or really high heat practices, hot yoga, we can aggravate the energy within. So you want to balance it with a cooling practice like this. So notice how you're feeling. And tempers can flare. We can get irritable if our balance, energy is not balanced. Notice the body. And just breathe here. If you want, open mouth, sigh to release. A little bit further, breathing in. Exhale, open mouth. 
and you may notice that your feet are starting to go lower with uh, gravity. You can even have your arms wide at um, 90 degrees to get into the, the heart and lung meridian. So just relax, soften your face, your jaw. Let go of your shoulders. I know the mind will be saying, I don't want to do this. I'd rather be doing something else. It's so nice out. But it, if it's really hot, it, it is a good idea to come indoors to cool off with this type of practice. So relaxing, feel the back and the hips, inner thighs releasing. Long, smooth breath in and long smooth, slow breath out. Just let go. And I'm going to read you the words of wisdom by John Lubach. He said, rest is not idleness, and to lie sometimes on the grass under the trees on a summer's day, listening to the murmur of the water or watching the clouds float across the sky is by no means a waste of time. So lying here is by no means a waste of time. Take a moment to set your intention for what you're needing for your practice today. Peace, calm, cool off, calm the mind, release stress. Say to yourself in the inner voice like as if it's already happened, I am peaceful, I am sleeping deeply tonight. I'm calm. I'm open in my hips, whatever it is. And then when you're ready, let go of the expectation of your intention and practice and straighten the legs up the wall again. Just pause and notice how you feel. Just, just about two or three minutes we stayed and it was felt really good. And now we're going to bend our knees again. Feet are flat on the, on the wall. We're coming into a wall squat. So your, your hips, your knees can be right over that, the hip in the hip line. To go, to go deeper, you can always widen the legs. It may be more challenging. Try both. Otherwise, just stay hip width apart. So this is happy baby, known as the wall squat. And we're just going to rest your getting into the hips a little bit more into the groin. And relax your arms again. And the, you may need to move away from the wall a little bit, so please listen to your body and do what works for you. It's okay if you're away from the wall a little bit. Find your breath.
Breathing in to a count of four, maybe, or five. Exhale, six or eight. And let go of your shoulders and arms. Notice how this pulse feels at any time. If it gets too intense, stretch the legs off the wall again and then try again. Just focus on your breath, be here present right now in this moment. So I mean, you normally wouldn't be able to do a squat on the, with your feet on the floor. This is a nice option. And then a couple more breaths. If you're really enjoying this and it's very juicy, stay longer, pause the video. And then straighten your legs again. Take a moment to notice how you feel. I'll just stay here in, in legs up the wall for a couple of minutes. And you can take your arms, again, you can take your arms wide, overhead to get into the heart and lung meridian as well. Which will release tightness in the, the shoulders, the neck. Soften. Remember, you can bend your knees slightly if you need to, if your hamstrings feel really tight. Just breathe and relax now. Great for tired legs, and in the summertime, we're doing so much more, more productive, creating. We're just on our legs, on our feet, a lot more than winter or fall time. So this is such a loving, nourishing practice for you. Really allow your shoulders and arms to relax and release the weight into the earth. Let the earth hold you, all your worries and all your stresses surrender into the earth. Let's finish a few more breaths, please. And then we're going to come into straddle pose or dragonfly. Basically a wide opening the legs wide or in half high it's called Asana. So 
So here, let gravity do the work. You're going to start to feel a stretch in your hamstrings as well, inner thighs. So you don't need to go so deep right away. If it feels too much, you can always come back up to legs up the wall and then try again. So listen to your body. It's a great way to, to really tap into our rest, digest, and heal nervous system as it targets the vagus nerve. And breathe with a sigh if you need to. You can always do arms wide as well here. Listen to your body. As I mentioned, the arms overhead or wide will target more meridians, the heart, lungs, small intestine. And large intestine, hopefully, I think more, mostly heart and lung. Breathing deeply and slowly. Great way to open the hips and inner thighs, hamstrings, and also gets into your knees as we're targeting the liver meridian here as well. So great practice for all the major joints. Really relax your face, your jaw. Let go of your back. If anybody wanted to go deeper, you can just have your hands resting on your inner thighs. Not pushing, but just resting. Three or more or so breaths, please. Release with a sigh if your body is needing it. And then remember, you can always stay longer. You're going to take your hands behind your, your up to your outer thighs, even bend the knees to come up. Nice and slow to lace up the wall again. Pause and feel. Feel perhaps the flow of energy, the tiredness moving through. And then we're going to come into a figure four stretch. So here you may need to move again. A little bit off and away from the wall, I do anyway. Then you're going to bend your knees so your feet are flat on the wall. Take your right ankle and place it on your left side, close to the left knee. Option here is to, you can stay here, this is a deep, deeper version, or you can straighten the leg for a little bit easier version. So adjust your, I think moved away from the wall a little bit too much. So adjust your pose. And you do need to flex your foot, right foot here, so that you're protecting your knee. You can have your right hand on the right inner knee. Left hand can be holding the left toes to, to help them flex or keep them down. And we'll try for two minutes. So listen to your body here. 
This is a really great one. It's like the pigeon pose. So it really get it'll really get into our hips, outer hips, and glutes, which will also release the lower back and hamstrings as well. Find your breath, inviting peace and calm and flexibility. With each inhale and exhale, you want to release. Allow your exhale to take away the darkness in terms of stiffness and pain, fatigue, busy mind. Breathing in light, spaciousness and calm. Exhale heat from the body, from the mind and from the heart. Remember you can always release sooner. Coming into legs up the wall if you need to. Almost done. This really gets into, I can really feel it in my glute. And glutes can be so tight. So really nice one to do. A couple more breaths or, or we'll release. And we're actually going to release straight into a twist. So from here, we're going to drop your right foot, your left knee to the left side. So you're going to twist over with your legs to the left, okay? So your right foot is on the floor and the back of your left foot is against the wall. And we'll stay here. You can have your arms wide here and just look to your right. And breathe deeply and slowly. Soften the face and space between your eyebrows. Relax the jaw. If your right foot is not touching the floor, you could, you could put a blanket underneath. Maybe you can do that on the other side. We're almost done. Just let go of the shoulders, the neck, the arms.
and then we'll come up to center. So coming back up, legs off the wall first. Pause for a moment. Notice how you feel. Notice the mind. Then we'll bend our knees again, feet on the floor. Again, remember you may have to move away a little bit away from the wall. Bend your left knee. Place your left ankle on top of the right thigh. You can straighten here the right leg to, to deep, um, lessen the stretch. Or you can bend it to deepen it. Flex your left foot, and we'll start the timer. You can have your left hand on the left inner knee. Try to keep your hips level and your bottom down as much as you can. And focus on the breath, which will help you to Really stay present and stay with any discomfort you may be experiencing in the, in the hips and glute. So breathe and just follow the breath. And this practice is really about strengthening the mu muscles of the mind. So stay with what is arising as long as there's no sharp shooting pain. Just watch it, witness everything. And then next time you're confronted by someone or you're in traffic jam or whatever it is that makes you agitated or makes you lose your cool, Remember this pose and how you were just breathing through it and watching it. Same way we can take our practice off the mat. And I really still need to work on that. There are some buttons that get pushed and I forget to breathe and I react. part of how the mind, the, the brain is made up. So we really have to continue to do these practices regularly to rewire the brain. Couple more breaths. And then we're going to drop that twist over to the right, shift your bottom to the left a little bit. You're going to drop your right foot, your left foot to the right side, your right knee to the, to the floor on the right side, and your, your right, back of your right foot, top of your right foot is at the wall if possible. Do the best you can. And then we'll stay here for a few breaths, a couple minutes or so. And here again, if you want, you can take your arms wide or behind you to get into the, the upper body meridians. And look to your left to stretch the muscles of your neck. Get into the neck. A little bit more. Notice the side.
You can always have your arms at letter T if that feels better. T position. Always listen to your body. It's your practice. Softening again into your face, your jaw. Swallow to relax your throat. Two or three more breaths, please. And as always, stay longer if you, need, if you need to. Otherwise, come back to center, legs up for walk, come to neutral. Pause for a moment and feel the effects of the twist and the figure four stretch. <sighs> release with a sigh, which is a great way to release stress. And then bend over, bend the knees and just roll over to your left side. Pause here for a little bit. Fetal position. Just being up the wall for so long is already a relaxing practice. So we're not going to do the Shavasana as we always do, but feel free to do it if you feel like it. Or if you just did this before bed, going straight to bed. Otherwise, you're going to come up to sit. And we'll just finish the class in a seated Closing meditation. Sitting comfortably. Just notice how are you feeling now after your practice, mind, heart, and body. Perhaps you're feeling a little bit more open in your back, your hips, arms, shoulders, neck, your whole body, your mind, your heart. Feel free to sit and meditate if you like, if you're feeling really calm and clear. Otherwise, we'll take our hands together and rub them briskly. Pop them over your eyes, take a breath in. And exhale, release the arms down the body and hands to the heart, bowing down to the light that is within each and every one of us. May all beings feel calm, cool, and collected peaceful, healthy, and strong, and may all beings remember their divine nature with each breath. Namaste. Thank you again for joining.